Welcome to Sonicol Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. In this video, we demonstrate how to enable probing on static routes. Consider a scenario where you have a static route to route the traffic from one particular computer out through a secondary WAN. You want to set a probe on this route so that in case the secondary WAN goes down, the route would be disabled. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create the probe that is required for static routes. Today for demonstration, we are using a SonicWall NSA220 with the firmware version 5.9.0.6. Under Network, Routing, select Custom Policies, click on Add to add a new static route, or if you already have a route, we can go to the Network Monitor and create a probe. In the Network Monitor page, Click on Add. Provide a name for the probe. For demonstration, we call it Internet on X2. In the Probe Target drop-down, you can either create a new address object based on the IP that needs to be probed, or if you have an existing address object, the existing object can be selected. In this demonstration, we create a new address object. We name this as 4.2.2.2. Zone assignment is WAN. Type is Host and the IP address is again 4.2.2.2. We are choosing a public IP that can be pinged. In the probe type, from the drop-down menu, we select Ping Explicit Route. Now, we have the option to specify the next hop gateway and also outbound interface. For the outbound interface, we select X2 and then click on Add. If the probe is successful, you would see the status turn green, and if the probe is not successful, it would show the color red. Next, we go back to the routing page. If there is an existing route, we can edit that route. If we need to add a new route, we click on Add. Select the source required. For demonstration, we select an address object called My PC. Destination and service can be set as per your requirement. Gateway is the X2 default gateway in this case. Interface is X2. The gateway and interface can also be set as per the requirement. Based on the interface set here, the probe would also need to be configured. From the probe drop-down menu, select Internet on X2, which is the probe that we created. The probe can also be created when you're adding a route by using Create New Network Monitor object. If an existing probe needs to be edited, it can be done on the Network Monitor page. Select the option Probe Default State is Up. If you require the route to be disabled when the probe succeeds, you would need to select the option Disable Route when probe succeeds. Set a metric for the route. You can add a comment if required and then click on OK to save the settings. If the probe is not successful, you would see the route grayed out. The route would work only when the probe is active. In this way, probing can be configured for any static route based on the requirement. This brings us to the end of this video on how to enable probing for static routes.